Hi guys, my name is Martin Bruscard. I'm the lead designer on Dreamfall Chapters. And today we're super happy to be able to show you a tiny uh, glimpse of our prototype. A couple of days ago we released a screenshot. And today we can show you guys that it's not just a pretty picture that we painted. It's real and it's explorable. And we're going to take a look at it now. In Dreamfall Chapters, we'll have lots of different locations that will look and feel very different. Each of these areas are fully explorable. There's tons of interesting things that the players can explore. There will be areas to investigate. There will be people to talk to. There will be riddles. There will be puzzles. And everything is connected through the story that infuses everything, kind of like a red thread. We want the players to dive into this rich and wonderful world and experience the, the beauty of it. And we want the interface to support the story. So we came up with this hybrid that allows for the freedom of movement, but also a good old traditional point and click so the players can get really into the fine details of things. So we've been talking about this hybrid interface that we have. Um, can you tell us a little bit how, how it works? Yeah, so what we really wanted to communicate here is just uh, to have the, the simplicity um, and the tactile feel of, of uh, a good old-fashioned uh, point-and-click interface. But at the same time, we, we want to be able to um, you know, let the, set the player loose uh, in the world and uh, explore his environment in full 3D, uh, to look around, uh, to stop and look at um, all the little details that we've left in, uh, in as, as small objects uh, around uh, all over the world uh, and to you know just uh, stop and uh, smell the flowers really. yeah I, I really love the way it feels so naturally like there are some games that you run around in with you have a visible cone of uh, of uh, interaction but here it, it, that cone is gone but you still feel uh, that it's sort of pointing exactly to what you want to grab, uh, you know, and I, I really like that it feels very natural and, and, and intuitive. Yeah, because we, we, we didn't want to go that heavy on the on the UI, you know, we just wanted to, we, we wanted, to, we didn't want to put a layer in between you and uh, the, the experience of the game, we just wanted to put a very thin, uh, it, it's just it's just there to help uh, you know, guide you uh, to things that you can uh, th that you can look at and that you can interact with in the game. And when uh, when you're not doing that, it just fades away uh, to the sides. Yeah, definitely. Like the UI shouldn't get in the way for a good experience. And uh, so, so maybe you can talk a bit how to to bring up this contextual wheel. Yeah. So, so what we have now is uh, in. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're uh, if you're looking around uh, freely. Or if you're uh, if if you're looking at each object individually uh, on the screen, mousing over each object on the screen, you just uh, with a quick click, you can have a uh, you can see all the um, all the interactions uh, that's available to you, uh, and select that, and uh, you're off to go. Exactly, I think that works really really well. I have to say, this scene is what I love about adventure games. When you just you're walking around in the forest exploring, and boom, there's a house there. What has, what's happened here? What's going on? And then you can just sort of dive into that and, 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 and dig a bit, like what's going on? Yeah, and, and there's just a little hint, uh, a visible hint on screen that tells you, hey, there's something interesting here. Maybe I want to have a look. Yeah. Uh, and what can I do with this? Um, oh, wait, I can do this. Yeah, exactly. I, I love that. Whenever you want some more, more story, the player should be able to, to get that story and to, to be allowed to be curious. And I think we've we've hit a really nice balance here because we've we've allowed you to to explore quite freely and to you know you can look around in in, in full 3D in your, in your environment, but we still kept the simplicity. I mean, you can even uh, you can play the game with with just your mouse. You can drive the whole experience uh, through that, yep. uh, and you can 
uh, move your cursor over things and just uh, um, get that tactile feel of, uh, of interacting with uh, the object individually. Yeah, exactly. With a click of a button, you're into point and click investigation, good old fashioned, that people love. I think that works really, really well. Dreamfall Chapters is an adventure game for the PC that focuses heavily on story, interesting characters, beautiful location, and it takes the player on this epic journey across two worlds, one fantasy and one cyberpunk. We're on Kickstarter right now, uh, and I hope you guys will support us, and I hope you enjoyed what we had today. <laughs>